Hi, everybody. We are at the Pace Studio in New York with Leif Ballebeck. Leif, Leif, welcome back, man. We're stoked to have you in this room in front of these tapes uh, at the new location. These tapes are so weird. Because yeah. they're so, I don't understand. Are they worth a lot of money? I Yeah, man. I, the specific dollar amount, I do not know. But I know that money was paid for them to bring them here. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, it's like uh, Hank Williams. like, And you actually have like a lot of Hank Williams. It's yeah. weird. To and think that yeah. there's like Hank Williams' voice through magnetic, magnetic tape behind yeah. me. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of that. There's yeah. a lot of Miles Davis's horns through magnetic tape and David Bowie's <laughs> voice and vibe and presence is on Talking all head. of it's these It's just weird, tapes. like, did you ever listen to them? Like, do you know what's on them? Yeah, dude, this used to be my job and Bob's job and a lot of other, other engineers. We got hired to transfer all these tapes and we spent decades over a decade doing oh, it. I worked on it for four years, but one engineer or another worked on this for like 15 years, transferring all this stuff and putting them up on the website. Did you bake them? Yeah, man. We've got the baker. We've got the machines just over there in the yeah. other room right now. Cool. Yeah. Do you like that? I know that that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I we, we could make like kale chips and beef jerky in those tape machines, <laughs> in those tape <laughs> bakers because they're just, they're, they're just food dehydrators, yeah. man. That's so um, cool. But we, um, do we, and also you can stick around and geek out on these tapes yeah. all you want. We've yeah, got, great. we've got time afterwards. Amazing. And, uh, but congratulations is due to you because new ways is out. The album is out in the world on secret city records mm-hmm. right now. And we're about to hear three songs from it. So thanks for bringing some music to share with us today. Can you tell us what's first? Oh uh, yeah. I'm going to do this song that I just started playing, uh, live called blood brother. And, uh, I got it. I got this like silver tone guitar cause my friend Brad, has one Brad Barr from the Barr Brothers also on Secret City yeah, plug <laughs> he didn't ask me to do that but uh, anyhow and I was like I love that guitar and then I found it and I think this is the guitar it's a bit jangly or wrangly anyhow it's a bit throaty anyhow I just heard someone move a chair on another floor that is the flywheel the the internet will not be able to hear that at all that's that, you me and that, Natalie that can that, hear that's that. so that, funny it's a flywheel of an elevator it's gonna keep happening oh really It'll I thought it was happening. Tig Notaro like doing her chair bit <laughs> <laughs> do you know that one no, I know oh, Tig oh, you gotta, I know the chair bit oh you gotta go look, google chair Conan O'Brien Tig it's really funny alright yeah it's it's so good anyhow sorry uh, yeah the, so the song's about Tig Notaro <laughs> My life 
is on the radio Saying it's a dream I can tell that the lights are fading But it's just a change of scene You know sometimes it's like I'm weightless It's just like I ain't here In fact for my next performance I'm gonna play and disappear Just like I ain't here Love, brother Gonna play and disappear Love, brother It's just like I ain't here Thanks, man. I love um, this guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the silver tone or the guy that you're picking up right now? Oh, uh, the silver tone. But I'm gonna probably love this one too. Yeah, I think. I, dude, I like that. I, I do <laughs> believe that is, I think, the nicest one that uh, the nicest acoustic that lives in this room. It's, it sounds great. Up. I like yeah. his, I like old strings too, because then you can like the harm. You know, the all the harmonics are. Um, I'm gonna say this right. Yeah. I just like how the microphone picks up all the brightness in an, in an old string, and when it's when the strings are too new, the the microphone is like, oh my god, there's so much information. It loses. Yeah, it, I just find it gets it's so balanced. You know, they're about to break. They sound the best. You know? <laughs> I don't like think dude, I don't think they're that old. I think no, they're... no, you can hear that they're kind of okay. Yeah. I'm pretty the dude. The D'Angelico guy just came and set him up a couple weeks ago. He may not have restrung. Maybe oh, he didn't. I wasn't saying it in a bad way. Like I, I don't yeah. change my strings. Like I my my electric guitar strings are like. Like five years old. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just wow. totally dead. What do you rub like a steel wool or something over? What do you What do you do to keep them from? Is just it's just no, every just day. Every day you stop them from rusting. Yeah, I think I have years and years of skin follicles just in there, just <laughs> keeping it dull, and then turn up the highs on the amp. Yeah, yeah, scaring the sound sound engineers. Nice. Yeah. Well, speaking of sound engineers, can you talk a little bit more about the um, the production process of New Ways? I mean, it was you recorded some in LA, some in Montreal. Can uh-huh. you talk about was that a like a logistical thing that it just turned out that way or was that a very specific decision to say I want to work with these people in LA and this this other team in Montreal? Yes. In Montreal? How did <laughs> it was, Yes, it was bo- it was everything you said. Okay. It was like I started in Montreal, and then I was like, um, and then I, was, I, where I recorded the last record, Twin Solitude, same studio. And then um, I heard a few things. I heard um, Patrick Watson, who's also my label. God, I'm so insular. I think uh, he may be coming. I, we're talking to. I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but he's oh, yeah. probably coming here in oh, a couple great. of weeks. Yeah, I think. he's great. Yeah, yeah. good falsetto. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, no, he he. I heard some demos of his at Capitol Studios in L.A. And I, I was like, oh my god, this room sounds amazing. And then I heard. The basement tapes revisited or something, the one with T Bone Burnett. Yeah. And then he, he, I was like, that sounds amazing. And it's also in Capital Studio B. Like, and I was like, I kept hearing things uh, that were in the, like, in the same studio that I liked. I was like, well, that's a good studio. And it was the same room. And then the new Bob Dylan record uh, that I'm not like super into, but the sound of it I was really into. And it was also the same room. So I was like, oh, next chance I get, that's where I'll go. And then uh, Break Glass was booked up and my drummer, Olivier Fairfield, who's amazing, uh, he wasn't available either. So I was like, well, this is it. I'm going to go to L.A. record um, actually this next song, Appalachia Plain. Um, a bit brighter sounding room. It's a bit too bright the way I did it. I overcompensated. That's not important. But anyhow, but uh, yeah, but uh, this was like, yeah, you know, Capital Studio B, it's like I, I avoided it. It was like looking at the history of it, but it's like, like Frank Sinatra's microphone is there and like uh, Ray Charles and, and yeah. like... Uh, uh, yeah, Nat King Cole's piano's there. It's like, yeah, it's a lot. Beach Boys, you know, like, it's like everything. So I just, so the room does have a lot of hits. 
And I, I just thought I'd go there and even it out, you know, make sure that they have a couple duds <laughs> just so the studio stays humble. You That's know? very thoughtful of you. Yeah, I do it for, <laughs> for any spirit of uh, nice, so quality. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. glad, uh, glad you're there just moderating and keeping the balance. Yeah, um, that's my job, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you said Appalachia, what's the... This one's called Appalachia Plain, and uh, uh, it's spelled a lot of weird ways uh, throughout the recording process. I mean, I kind of settled on Appalachia Plain, which is like kind of... I found out later, uh, it's like a part of northern Florida, the Appalachia uh, tribe used to be there. And uh, I think it's because I was listening to that Tom Waits song, um, the Jack Kerouac um, poem that Tom Waits put music to. Do you know that one? No, it was like, home in Olandola, home in old Chucky, Appalachicola, home I'll never be. And I think I love the word Appalachicola so much, which is in northern Florida. I went there. It was very quiet. It's quite cute. Anyhow. And so I think that's why I call it that. But it's not Appalachian Plains, which is what it gets written all the time. And I feel bad for the people in the Appalachians. But that's the right way to say that also, Appalachians. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but this one's Appalachian It's weird. It's hard to say it that way, even though you know it's right. Everything's hard, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Look at today. (laughs) Yeah, especially on the 9th of December. Yeah, man. Yeah, look out. Um, Should I play it? Yeah, we'd love to hear it. Thank you. I'll try not to move away from this microphone. Is it wrong to call your name on the Appalachian plain when I know it's been called a thousand times, if at all? Is it wrong to call your name once again? Wishing's easy. If you try, don't get bogged down and don't you cry. If it comes true, so be it. And if I don't, just believe it to be the way that it always ought to be. Mustangs kicking in the field. I saw it all behind the wheel But it would have never had that feel You weren't right there at my heel Holding up your end of a bargain So how about you lean on in Just this one time give me that grin when I first saw laying in bed with your hair about our heads when the sky it was deserted Couple lines I'm reminded from time to time You were in And throughout For the flood Before the drought For the sunlit Garden grew For the ashes filled the tombs No, they ain't nothing I can change by me now But there ain't nothing I can change about me now There ain't nothing I can change about me now You're late You're late You're late
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, dude. That sounds great. Thanks. Um, can we? So you started to talk about Olivier a little bit and some of the cast of characters oh, that yeah. are found on this album. Can you talk a little bit about about Angie's contribution? Also, she was just here not too long ago. Actually, I went downstairs to see her. Uh, she opened for Hosier. Oh yeah, like three weeks ago or something yeah, yeah, in this yeah, yeah, building, here. and I, I went know. down for that, and it was it was outstanding. Can you talk a little bit about great? what what her contribution was like and what She's it was like? So great. Yeah. Um, she, I had this feeling at the beginning of last year. I thought. I'm going to be in Australia this year. I'd never been before. And I was like, I'm just going to, that's going to happen. I don't know how or when. And then I got this email a few months later from her manager being like, we love Leafs record and we want to, we want to do something special. We want to have um, people uh, that we like open for us. And and she does really well in Australia as big shows. And so they flew me over and we, and I, and I hadn't met her yet, but um, I'd heard a record that they sent. Anyhow. And, uh, yeah, we kind of became really fast friends and kind of kindred spirits. She just, she's like this Joni, Joan Jet, Jeff Buckley vibe thing going. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. Um, in Perth, on the way to one of the shows, she was like singing along to the radio and like she would change her voice to sing along with harmony with like whatever like mega hit it was. And I was like aware of how, because when she sings her own songs, like she has her own sound, but when she's harmonizing with, um, it was like crazy and I was like oh my god Angie could you maybe harmonize with me on this one song because I have this harmony line and then she's like yeah 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 I, I already do <laughs> <laughs> to your records and I was like oh that's so flattering so yeah so she it's the only thing that I wasn't there for uh, for overdubs I just sent her the song it was like okay okay you win internet we're gonna do it and so I sent her the song and then her and her engineer uh, a guy named Gourmet he, he recorded the vocal and they sent it back to me, and and that was it. It was like really easy for me. It, but I was like, I but I felt like I was cheating, you know, because like that's the <laughs> first time in my life. But like it definitely made more sense than flying across like the entire earth to go do like a vocal take and then bring it home, you know. Yeah. yeah. But anyhow, that's the only thing that's like a fully digital like, like yeah. Which is kind of nice. That's cool, but I mean, funny. the collaboration started from a, a human, to human, human. Yeah, we were interaction. It wasn't purely a digital. No, no, no. Collab. We like no, exactly. We ran the song backstage uh, in Perth, and I was like, "Oh, this sounds amazing." And we did it a couple times, uh, or maybe just once live when I was. We were both in London at the same time, and she sang it with me, and I was like, "Oh my god, if I could do this for the rest of my life, just having like a beautiful voice harmonize with me, it's like the, it's the easiest thing in the world singing with someone like that." You know, where your voices just kind of go. Um, yeah. And then also on that song that uh, for some reason nobody uh, picked up on in the press release or whatever, but Cindy Cash Dollar is the steel player on, on the Appalachia plane on the record. And she's, um, I mean, she's the best steel player in the world, I think. And uh, she played on Time Out of Mind. She was in Van Morrison's touring band for a bit, I think, too, she was telling me. And, uh, but anyhow, I just love the steel on Time Out of Mind. Um, and she plays lap steel, not pedal steel. And uh, yeah, she's just killer. Anyhow, so I wrote her and, and I went down to Woodstock, hung out with her for like a day. And she's just had so many amazing stories and she's just badass. So it's these two really badass women on that song. And I really, I like it closing the record. Nice. Like that. <laughs> nice, dude. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm glad that you got to have that experience and hopefully uh, everybody go as soon as they watch this video immediately goes to check out New Ways. It's out in the world on Secret yeah. City Records say, Go right check out now. Cindy Cash Dollar and, and, uh, and Angie McMahon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Do yeah, that definitely. instead. That'll be way more rewarding. <laughs> in addition to, anyway. Yeah. Um, well, cool, man. You, uh, you're going to do a third off of New Ways. Can yeah. you tell us what's uh, what's coming up third today? I just thought about doing it. I don't. It might be really boring, uh, but, I, but I thought I'd take a chance. <laughs> I it'll be good. <laughs> yeah, give it a shot, man. Let's see. We'll see. Um, so this is a song called Transatlantic Flight, and... Uh, a couple people mentioned that it sounded like a Van Morrison song, which I didn't realize. I was like, oh, that makes sense. I, I'd love to steal from Van Morrison. Um, so, yeah, so I, this is on the, pian on the piano and drums on the, on the record, but this one's just, uh, I'm just going to try on the acoustic. If you get really bored, like, we could try it. We could just cut it or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I'm probably going to keep that information to myself. But I very, <laughs> very much doubt that I will get bored, man. I'm a fan of your music very much, so oh, I, be- I believe it's going to come across. Well, just I'm going to push you to your limits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in kind of a drop C, so it might be a little pitchy. Confused Just like Julie Delby Like they say do I want to see you roll your eyes In a televised interview I won't make you mine I want to make you mine God's handiwork in the clouds You navigate in the crowds Of the festival Of the festival You're light-hearted, heavy-hearted too It's something that I wouldn't put my worst enemy through Now, yes now I'm looking at the sun through My eyes Now I'm drifting in the astral plane When will I see you again? Are you drifting in the astral plane? When will I see you again? So why don't you come on, come on, come on over Start talking to me One thing, one thing I can tell you You look good when you're tired You look good when you're tired Come on, come on, come on over Start talking to me One thing, one thing I can tell you Look good when you're tired on a transatlantic flight Yes, I am a prisoner mm, A prisoner mm, Yes, I am a prisoner On a transatlantic flight Prisoner mm, Yes, I am a prisoner mm, Prisoner On a transatlantic flight Why don't you come on, come on, come on over, start talking to me. I kind of made up the ending there. <laughs> <laughs>
I, nice. I should have figured out how to play the ending before I started playing the song. <laughs> Man, well, dude, an exercise in uh, in on the spot problem solving. I thought you figured it out great, man. That's the that's what the day's all about. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yours worked out great. Oh, um, I think, and, it, dude, and so there's a the live performance video of that out in the world right now, right? Yeah, it's the opposite of that version. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the uh, much uh, fuller fuller arrangement. I think yeah, it's not a wonderful strip down like that, but there is a, a much much fuller version out there. Yeah, um, with like a. a 10 string players. Yeah, it's nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I like that one better. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, this one sounded great. And uh, so you've got sh uh, show uh, tomorrow night, Bowery Ballroom. You're at Great Scott in Massachusetts, in Alston, Mass on Wednesday, World Cafe in Philly on Friday night, and then a ton of West Coast dates in January. Yeah. March and April, we'll find you in the, across the UK and Europe, and all uh, of it is sounds up exhausting. Leave Ball Attack. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, it does. Enjoy all of it and, and travel safely please between all those dates and come back here whenever dude thanks so much for having me yeah of course man thank cool. you